What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on also to get notified of all this content as and when it drops. So let's get into this one. So on the undercard of Fabio Wardley versus Fraser Clark, we had the return of the Savage after his beating one one round beating by um, Res excuse me, Rosanski, I think you pronounce his name in uh, Poland for the Bridgeweight title. Um, Babbage returns after that defeat against uh, Steve Robinson. Steve Robinson is from, um, he, I believe he's from up in uh, Newcastle. Um, he's a fighter that's very, uh, I suppose he's kind of area level. Um, very big and tall and strong guy. Um, but he's, he's one of those guys that's kind of at a lower level um, in boxing terms and um, uh, he doesn't really use his his frame or his height or anything. He, you know, is six seven, and you know, it's he, I think gets hit far too much. And this was um one of those fights where very predictably, um, Alan the Savage Babbage was just back to his savage ways. Um, it was a crazy fight. It was fiery. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. And um, you know, as are all of Babbage's fights, it was just full of action. Um, Babbage was the shorter man by about a good six inches, but I must say that he it, it's shocking that he was still able to land pretty much all of his stuff. You know, he was landing at will on um, Robinson. You know, Babbage was by far the the faster man. Um, sorry, Babbage was the faster man. What am I talking about? And um, you know, from the word go, he was just in there landing trying to land power shots over and over again swinging right hooks left hooks everything and every time every punch he threw it was like he was throwing the kitchen sink for putting all his effort into it and it was just ruthless swinging i mean he was just in command from the word gold robinson to his credit did try to stand his ground he did try to um sort of trade with babbage but he was just too slow he was getting caught Robinson was getting put on the ropes all the time and you know Babbage was was just swinging like a wild man from 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 the word go it, it, the end of it came in in round six um where you know Robinson you know it's hurt multiple times in a fight but uh the sixth round it was just a bit unresponsive just taking a beat in and you could see as the fight was going on um you know Robinson was finding it hard to even move his arms he got very tired from quite early because Babbage is he's one of those guys that's just very relentless and you know even when he's missing you know you, he's still putting you under that pressure so that you, you're still thinking about it. you're still having to try and defend yourself and you know even the misses were putting um uh putting Robinson under pressure and you know Babbage he, he just as crude as he is, he was just too fast for Robinson. And, you know, just he's it's a shame he's not more of a puncher because I think if if Babbage was a bigger puncher, he would have had Robinson out of there, you know, within a couple of rounds, within two, three rounds, um, instead of uh, the six that it took him, you know, he, he much as he was winning the fight, he was winning every round. You know, what he was doing is, as always, very crude. And he was just going for the swings all the time. Um, and, and I think that's what took him so long because some of the time he's just missing shots and swinging himself in circles and whatnot. But, yeah, to his credit, he comes back with a win. I suppose that's the most important thing. Um, it wasn't the greatest performance by Babbage, but it was a win and um, it was entertaining. So... I'm sure the fans will appreciate it. I appreciate it because I know that, yeah, he's crude. He's not the best boxer, but he puts his effort. He put when Babbage fights, he gives his absolute all. You, you when you watch him, you just know that this guy's given everything. There's there's no more that this guy could have done. So um, yeah, credit to Alan Babbage. It was a one of his, you know, it was a crazy fight, but very entertaining and kind of a fun fight to watch. So let me know what you thought about this return of the savage Alan Babbage. I mean, um, he's, he's at quite a low level and, you know, he's, we'll, we'll see what he can do when he comes back. Maybe goes back down to Bridger or something like that, or maybe 
cruiser, but it, it's hard to see him being successful um, against the big heavyweights, against the top guys, um, especially the big punchers out there. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.